Silas, even though this show is called Cinema Suicide, I like to break it down occasionally talk about television because, let's face it, TV has been crazy good lately. I would even go so far as to say that I have been watching far more TV than I have been watching movies lately. TV in the long form has been fucking killing it. Arrow had the best season two that a show could possibly ask for. Penny Dreadful on Showtime turned out to be a much better series than I was expecting. Uh, and Orphan Black has become one of the most gripping series I have ever seen. The list just goes on and on. There is so much good TV on right now. However, I became an insano fan of one show in particular. And this is really kind of saying something because fandom tends to grate on me. I don't know what it is, but I can't seem to drum up the intense sort of passion that travels with a show like Supernatural or Sherlock. Uh, but I... Uh, found an exception in one particular show, and that show is Community. Uh, I first became hip to Community after I read a breakdown of nerd minstrel shows that suggested that if I hated a show like The Big Bang Theory, such as I do, then I was probably going to fall in love with a show like Community, and lo, I did. So, recently when I found out that the show had been cancelled, and that it would not be coming back for season 6, we probably weren't going to get our movie, uh... I became legit bummed. Like, I was actually quite upset about this. So, in memory of Greendale Community College, I offer you this, my top five list of community episodes. Let's assume that you've never watched Community, because let's face it, nobody did. Community takes place at Greendale Community College, a fictional community campus located somewhere in Colorado. Among its students, are Jeff, Britta, Shirley Pierce, Annie, Troy, and Abed. Uh, they first come together under the false pretenses of joining a Spanish study group, but then they quickly form a friendship which evolves over the course of a series of high-concept misadventures. Uh, at first, Community on the Surface appears to be just another sitcom, uh, but it spoofs well-worn TV tropes, and every season features a high number of concept episodes. They've done zombies and westerns and science fiction, they've done animation, they've done claymation, they've done puppets, they've had a musical. The list just goes on and on and on. Way too smart for, uh, for broadcast television, and completely unconcerned with broadening its appeal to gain more viewers. Community was a show that was destined for cancellation. It's actually kind of amazing that the show lasted as long as it did. Uh, this is the sort of show that is destined to find its fandom in the afterlife, uh, like Arrested Development or Breaking Bad did on Netflix. Now, picking five episodes turned out to be a nigh-impossible task. There are just so many great episodes of this show. Uh, however, I feel that if you've never watched this show, or you're, you have a passing familiarity with it, if you watch these five episodes, by the time you're done, you're going to be a fan. The social order of Greendale is disrupted when developers of a smartphone app decide to beta test their application at Greendale. The application allows you to rate your peers based on ordinary social interactions with them using an arbitrary scale of meow meow beans. Within a few days, everyone is rated one to five meow meow beans, and the entire Greendale community devolves into a social order on the level of something like Brave New World. Jeff decides that this is fucking bullshit, and he is going to demonstrate precisely how bullshit this is by climbing the Meow Meow Bean's social ladder and toppling it from the very top. Meanwhile, Britta decides that she is going to lead a resistance against this new order uh, when, she when she learns that she has uh, more social influence with mustard smeared on her face. Um, season 5 represents an amazing recovery from the train wreck that is Community Season 4. Showrunner Dan Harmon was back, uh, and Season 5 is home to a number of series best episodes. Um, however, this one is probably my favorite of Season 5's episodes. It uh, narrowly beat out uh, basic intergluteal numismatics. Uh, Jeff's stand-up comedy routine is a real standout moment. Uh, the whole thing when he 
manages to, to get the coveted fifth Meow Meow Bean and also has a number of, uh, of cameos from Brian Posehn and uh, Tim and Eric from Tim and Eric Awesome Show. Great job. Dean Pelton is tasked by the school board to update the Greendale TV spot. Everything is going really well until actor Luis Guzman agrees to be in the commercial, which causes the Dean to suddenly become obsessed with perfection, completing an ad based on a very ambitious script. Uh, this leads to a downward spiral into obsession and madness, as everyone loses their mind at the same time. Uh, Britta and Troy suffer simultaneous nervous breakdowns. Uh, Jeff, trapped in a costume of the Dean, loses his sense of self and believes himself to be the actual Dean. And meanwhile, the actual Dean's personality takes an uncharacteristic turn before completely collapsing. All the while, Abed and Pavel are producing a documentary based on this very troubled production. Uh, every now and then, Community will do an episode that spotlights its many side characters. Uh, in this case, the episode spotlights uh, the wildly flamboyant held uh, There's a running gag throughout this one about Hearts of Darkness, the documentary about the extremely troubled production of Apocalypse Now and how Hearts of Darkness is actually a better movie than Apocalypse Now. Um, it features uh, a ton of references to Apocalypse Now and Hearts of Darkness, obviously, uh, and a numerous scenes directly taken from Apocalypse Now. Advanced Dungeons & Dragons is another episode spotlighting a community side character. When Fat Neil, suicidal after years of being fucked with uh, for his weight, gives all of his Dungeons & Dragons books to Jeff, Jeff suspects that he is going to kill himself, and he pulls the group together, minus Pierce, to play an emergency Dungeons & Dragons session that will hopefully lift Neil's spirits, make him feel a little more confident sort of get him back on track. However, Pierce is furious that he has been excluded and has decided that he is going to do everything in his power to ruin this game and crush Neil's spirit. Well, this was the first episode of the show that I had ever actually seen, and it kind of blew my mind. Uh, Community has a really strange way of being able to take something like a fantasy movie and weaving it into the community setting without breaking the rules of reality. Uh, it also has these real moments of humanity throughout. Uh, and even though it's just a silly comedy, it's littered with these poignant moments that add real dramatic weight to the show. Uh, it's also home to a number of series high points, including um, an implied sex scene between an NPC and Annie's character that is even funnier if you can read lips. Uh, and also, Chang shows up to the game in a hilarious makeup that just about anybody familiar with Advanced Dungeons & Dragons is going to recognize. Troy and Abed move in together and host a housewarming party where they order pizza. When the pizza arrives and no one volunteers to go get it, Jeff devises a system of choosing based on the roll of a die. But before he rolls the die, Abed warns him that rolling it will create six possible outcomes uh, and unique timelines for each, uh, each roll of the die. Uh, this episode plays out each one of these probabilities. The probabilities range from Shirley's pies burning to Britta marrying the pizza guy to Pierce dying from a gunshot wound and Jeff losing his arm in a fire. And of all the probabilities, there is the probability of the darkest timeline, which comes back into play in later episodes of the show. Uh, this episode, Remedial Chaos Theory, narrowly lost out to my number one pick. However, it is easily the most original, unique episode in the entire series. Uh, it is everything about the show that is most appealing to me in a single episode, uh, and it is easily what is most hostile to casual viewers looking for some sort of low-impact sitcom to sort of space out to at the end of the night. Uh, where I feel like Advanced Dungeons & Dragons is actually kind of a tough episode to introduce new viewers to, where it includes usually excluded side characters. Um, Remedial Chaos Theory takes place in a single location, taking uh, making use of only the primary cast members. Uh, it's also extremely fun and clever.
Dean Pelton caters the Greendale Halloween party with surplus military rations of what he thinks is some kind of taco meat that turns out to be a biological weapon of some kind. When Pierce eats this taco meat, it turns him into a zombie of sorts. When he bites Starburns, the disease turns into an epidemic and pretty soon everyone in the building is infected. What follows is a pretty standard zombie survival scenario. Uh, Troy and Abed, meanwhile, race against the clock to turn on the air conditioning, which will slow the fever-induced brain damage that will ultimately kill everyone in the building until help can arrive. And meanwhile, at the same time, Troy struggles to embrace his nerdy son. Now, every once in a while, Community dives into these exceptionally wild high-concept episodes, but they have a rule. Uh, always have a reason. They never do genre for genre's sake. Uh, even though it's a zombie movie, there are zombies, nobody's actually dead. Uh, and it has all the nods to the usual sources. It behaves in accordance with the rules of a zombie movie. You know, people get bitten, uh, there are shambling mobs, there's a sort of claustrophobic safe house that goes horribly wrong. Um, but it also has all of the usual community touches, you know, references to other movies, Troy and Abed's team costume is particularly great. Um, season two overall is probably the best season of community that there is. Uh, and epidemiology kicks off a wave of really excellent episodes that runs probably up to mixology. But of the entire series, epidemiology is probably the best episode. So there you have my top five list of community episodes. There is the usual fan optimism out there right now that Dan Harmon is going to miraculously pull this show out of the fire, but I'm just facing up to facts over here. I pretty much think it's over. Uh, I don't think it's going to find a new home on Comedy Central or Netflix. I don't think we're going to get our sixth season, and I don't think we're going to get our but why dwell on that? Seasons one through three are fucking fantastic. Season five is great, and I won't lie, season four has got a couple of good episodes in it as well. There are so many great episodes in this show. It is one of the most consistently hilarious sitcoms in the history of television. There are a million episodes that nearly made this list that didn't, like cooperative calligraphy, contemporary po American poultry, Conspiracy Theory and Interior Design, Basic Intergluteal Numismatics, and Aerodynamics of Gender. So, if you have not watched this show, now is the time to get on that. This show defines cult, and it is going to appeal to you if you are the sort of person who follows this show. If you have seen the show, I'd like to know what your favorite episodes are. You know, uh, I asked my followers on Tumblr what their favorite episodes were, and what I got back was a series of lists that featured very little overlap. It was a very interesting experiment, and now I'd like to extend that experiment here. So put your favorite episodes down in the comments. Uh, I'm very interested to know what you think of this show. Um, now is the time where you like the Suicidal Facebook for more updates, you follow me on Twitter for random bullshit and yucks, uh, and, and you, uh, you, you follow me on Tumblr for all the stuff that I can't really seem to have, find a home for. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.